What's up, everyone? Welcome to Clown World News. Today we're having a special segment on double speak, double think. All right, let's get into it. How blind auditions help orchestras to eliminate gender bias. To make orchestras more diverse and blind auditions. <laughs> now, these are two different news organizations, and these are seven years apart. So we'll give them that, you know, at, at the very least. But this is like... You just you kind of see. It. I think a lot of these news organizations kind of. I don't. I don't know if they all meet, you know, in the woods under a giant wooden owl and they sacrifice an effigy. I, I don't. I don't know that. An effigy, not a. <laughs> I don't want to get banned again, but I do think that they have uh, top-down information given to them and told on how to report things. It's wrong to blame Somali Americans for the Ohio State attack. After Christchurch, we need more blame, not less. The Christchurch shooting should implicate all white Australians. Yeah, you're going to see a recurring theme here. Let's see if you can figure it out. Melania Trump's RNC fashion, a scary statement. Trump's foreignness stands in stark contrast to, to her husband's Make America Safe Again and Make America Great Again sloganing. So while Trump appeared flawless on the Cleveland stage Monday night, whether she intended it or not, her all-white ensemble displayed the kind of foreignness that is accepted by her husband's political party. To many, that outfit could be another reminder that the G in the GOP, white is always right. Then the same bitch, Elizabeth Wellington. That was written so weird. It like, gave my brain a stroke. DNC fashion, Hillary Clinton looked presidential in an all-white pantsuit. Yeah, so Melania is scary, and Hillary is presidential. Philly.com, I don't know, the Inquirer, who the, f who the fuck reads this paper? Right, here we got one. No evidence Black Lives Matter protests caused COVID-19 spike. Study? Ooh, they, it's not study says, it's not anything, it's not, just study? Are they telling people to go study? Look at this guy on the megaphone. And this guy has a tuba. Like, literally everybody's just talking over each other. <laughs> Dude, these, these, these Black Lives Matter protests are like going to IHOP at like 2 a.m. It's just, it's so loud on a Friday night. Oklahoma reports highest ever daily COVID-19 case after Trump Tulsa rally. The same news organization with, with the same day. So yeah, they, they made this one. They're like, ah, oh, we're going to show that. The protests are okay as long as you're doing what we want. They're just, they're training you, your brain. They're training your brain. They really think that, and they're probably right. They think that there's a large percentage of the population that doesn't have a strong internal voice and that they only respond to outside stimuli. And like the quicker we realize this, that this is just how the game is played, then we, if, if you care about the world and you feel as if the way the world is running right now with a lot of these media places like these news organizations and how they're you know subverting good morality and all that other good stuff the fight between good and evil if you give a fuck about that then you should probably work as hard as you can to secure these positions to get into a position of influence like the media there's a reason why the media is doing what it does there's a reason why the media is owned by such few people. And there's a reason for everything. So, just fucking, that's the power. Let's go get that power. Yeet. <laughs> Physicians have joined protests in cities across the country and an open letter signed by 1,200 health professionals says protests should not be shut down over fears of COVID-19 transmission. Why so many doctors support protesting in a pandemic? Hundreds of far-right protesters defy COVID-19 restrictions to demonstrate in London. Look at this guy. This guy. Look, can, you, can we get a close? -up? Jamie, pull a close, close up on that guy. Can we get a, Look at this guy. Ah! Hey, buddy. Hey there, pal. I'm just trying to help you out there, pal. And look at these guys. This guy is. He's on. He's on YouTube right now. White coats for Black Lives. 
<laughs> it just hurts your head. I mean, I'm going to try not to say too much about this word because fuck you, YouTube, and whoever reports these videos. Fuck you. I hope you get regulated. Everyone should have a shot at paid family leave. CNN, on April 4th. Here's the archive if you want to look it up. Trump's budget to include paid family leave. How paid family leave hurts women. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh it's so sad. Why, why do you get so mad when somebody does something you want? This is like, this is what we want. Trump's like, okay, I'll give it to you. No, we don't want you to give it to us. <laughs> like, and the, the, okay, but the thing is, is that stuff like this is kind of really the, the I, I love stuff like this because it's really the only thing that's making me think maybe Trump isn't evil. Maybe there really is a resistance movement against this global cabal. And maybe, just maybe, we could do something about it. But maybe, you know, he's, it's all in on it and it's all fucked anyways. But if, it's, if that's the case, then why even waste all the time? I don't, I don't know. I, I'd like to think, and I lean towards, the fact that they do this type of nonsense shows that they're kind of desperate. And that Trump actually does pose a threat to them. All right, here we got some George Orwell quotes. Double think means the power of holding two contradictory beliefs in one's mind simultaneously and accepting both of them. Rally for Black Trans Lives draws packed crowd to Brooklyn Museum Plaza. President Trump plans to rally his supporters next Saturday for the first time since most of the country was shuttered by the coronavirus. But health experts are questioning that decision. But not this one. They're not even questioning the whole trans lives aspect of it. Oh shit, am I going to get shut down for saying that? I hope not. Fuck you, YouTube again. I hope you get regulated. An 11-year-old white girl is charged with a hate crime. A white Arkansas man is facing up to 20 years in prison after being found guilty in the beating of an African-American man. A white teen who allegedly plotted to attack a historically black church in Georgia with knives. Police have charged a 25-year-old man with first-degree murder after they say he shot and killed a 5-year-old boy last week in Wilson, North Carolina. Look at that emoji. It is odd, isn't it? Isn't it a little odd now? I, I guess I'll put the preface here. I'm sure if you've watched any of my videos, you, you would know that I don't support violence, racism, xenophobia. But this, in my opinion, is racism. This is what it looks like. Not being objective with the facts. It's like, if you're going to do this, I like the way that this one on the bottom is worded. I like that. Because we're all just people. Unless it's like a really specific... Like, I need to know more about that person. I need more adjectives. Then I don't need to know who's white and who's black and all this shit. But you can see when they, they love to put it out there because they're painting a picture. And the picture is that white people are attacking black people and white people at an ex ex exorbitant number, at a huge rate. When I believe the studies would show the opposite, or if not, where it's equal. The big number that people don't like talking about is black on black crime. And all these Black Lives Matter protests don't really focus on any of that. But again, there's a large group of people out there in the world, and it has nothing to do with race, that doesn't have an internal voice of their own. It's, it's, it's underdeveloped. So like they see this stuff, and then they read this. If it wasn't underlined, if there wasn't somebody like me in the bottom right corner like pointing it out, if there wasn't this emoji then maybe they wouldn't have even noticed it. And that's like, that's a problem because our schools are not teaching how to, how to foster that internal voice of like reasoning. All right, so this is, all screenshots are taken on the 9th of February, 2016. So it might not be like this anymore. Black Pride is a movement encouraging people to take pride in being black, to celebrate heritage and personal pride. Gay Pride, LGBT Pride, is a positive stance against discrimination and violence towards the lesbian, to promote their self affiliate affirmation. Blah, blah, blah. Damn, there's just so much to say with LGBT. You guys gotta chill out. You, you, look, you look like a menu at an ice cream shop. In the United States, Asian Pride, also spelled 
Asian pride is a positive stance to being Asian American. White pride. White pride is a slogan primarily used by white separatists, white nationalists, neo-Nazis, and white supremacist organizations to signal their racist viewpoints. Boo! Now, do, do people do that? Are there white separatists, white nationalists, neo-Nazis, and white supremacists who use white pride in that regard? Yeah. Yeah, there absolutely are. Just like there's black pride people who do that. Asian pride, gay pride, everybody does that. that. That's the angle with pride. That's why pride is a folly. You know, that's why pride isn't the best trait to have. But also at the same time, everything they say about these, these ones, you could be that for white. Like, dude, white people have a culture and a heritage that isn't entirely colonialism, slavery, and destruction of other people. There's actually quite a lot of good things about white culture. White Christians were the vast majority in the United States, and they spread their culture, creating society, modern society, as we kind of know it in Western worlds. And that's the society that all these other people wanted to be a part of. And that's the society where all these other people are accepted and allowed to be a part of. Gay people can't go exist in a lot of other places in the world. So, like, I don't know, count your blessings, you know? <laughs> don't be such a dick about it. Fuck. <laughs> Confirm. Men who objectify women are effing horrible. This is an old classic. 36 Summer Olympic bulges that deserve gold. George Orwell again. Just read it. Read what Georgie had to say. LA Times. Owned by a vaccine mogul. Knowingly exposing others to HIV will no longer be a felony in California. STDs in LA County are skyrocketing. Officials think racism and stigma may be. <laughs> nah, dude. I think it's because you guys are a bunch of degenerates. But this is also, you know, almost half a year later. Power is in tearing human minds to pieces and putting them together again in new shapes of your own choosing. Also, right now going on in California, they're lowering, or they're, they're getting rid of, like, criminal charges. They're making it, they're doing some fuck shit with, like, pedophiles. They're making it easier to be a pedophile. And all the Republicans in California voted against it. But all the Democrats voted for it. And it's just like, dude, are you guys really going to be this obvious? Is it really this obvious what's going on here? The Democrat Party. The Confederates. Oh, okay. The KKK. Oh, okay. And then you're just going to try to pretend one day that you weren't that? Also, by Soima Karlamangla. Soima Sumya Karlamanga. Mangla. Sounds like a nice place to vacation. Patrick McGreevy. I love these names, man. They got great names. I don't know if they're pseudo or pen names or pseudonyms. But they're great. Here we got Ronald Klein on COVID-19. If you want to do something useful today, go to Chinatown. Buy a meal. Go shopping. The virus attacks humans, not people of any ethnicity, race, furious, hurting Chinese American-owned businesses. Baselessly, let's fight the disease and let's fight prejudice. And also, Ronald Klein. If you are not at your job today, it is because Donald Trump did not do his job to fight coronavirus, hashtag, in January and February. Literally, nobody did more. It's nonsense. The models projected were that the U.S. would have like 2 million deaths or something like that. So until, I don't know, influenza cases, deaths in a year, or like 100. I, I'm not allowed to talk about this part. But you could just imagine what I would have said if I did talk about it. <laughs> We're talking about double speak. The fact that, yeah, this motherfucker. Yelling, I hate white people, and punching one isn't a hate crime. Canadian judge rules. Hate messages show up on university campuses. It's okay to be white. You can't say it's okay to be white, because that's a hate message. But yelling, I hate white people and punching one, isn't a hate crime? Uh, I don't get it. I think I get it, but 
I don't like it. And I'm I'm not I don't want to be radicalized. I just know that there's some people out there that would see all this information and you know they'd start a club and I don't know if that club would necessarily be the nicest club. History likes to repeat itself. Maybe you guys should stop antagonizing these group of people who may or may not have an internal voice. Stop trying to project mockingbird them into some some shit that you don't want to have to deal with. Just fucking be, just be level, bro. Why can't anyone be level? You're a judge. Surely you know what level, like true level, man. Give me that level. Yelling, I hate white people and punching one. How about it's not a hate crime and nothing's a hate crime because crime is crime. Most all crime is hateful. How about we just get rid of the idea of a hate crime? How about, but okay, if we're going to have it be a hate crime, then at least make everything a hate crime. You know, if you're. It's okay to be white. It's not a hate message. It's it's the opposite. It's like I don't think you guys understand basics of like a plus sign or a, a minus sign. I don't think what adds to the conversation, what takes away. I don't think you get that. It's odd. It's so odd. This is a classic. President Trump condemns all sides of clashes in Charlottesville. Watch CNN. Trump once again fails to condemn the alt right white supremacists. President Trump speaks amid violence in Charlottesville. Yeah, uh, they're just CNN Clown News Network full of shit. This is literally on TV. Health experts say you should still close your business and stay indoors unless it's to protest. What? Who the fuck do these this, these people think they are? I think this is Tucker. I think this might be Fox. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. All right, here we go. We're going to get some sad ones or some weird ones, maybe some touchy ones. Want to fight climate change? Have fewer children. Also the Guardian. Refugee influx helps halt decline in Germany's population. Without immigration, Canada's growth could close to zero in 20 years if low fertility rates persist. Siri... Ah, somebody's calling me. Oh, right now I'm, I'm doing I'm doing the news. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was my homie. All right, let's, let's wrap this news up. We gotta call that fool back. <laughs> so that's how you know that I'm not paid for by any giant global network or whatever. But anyways, serious about stopping climate change? Have one less child. Having children is one of the most destructive things you can do to the environment. In case you missed it, the new Europeans, the child-free life. They tell you to stop having kids, and then they fill up the, you know, they start pumping in all the immigrants and refugees to replace the population decline for the economy. Now, what is that? That is some Kali Yuga, like, tactics. That is some plan to, like, degrade society. It, it obviously is. It's like, think about Africa. Look at the way they divided Africa. They divided Africa based on these arbitrary lines. They put all these people in with totally different cultures that couldn't assimilate with each other and expected it not to erupt into civil war constantly. Then look at what they're doing with a bunch of like refugees who it, mass caravans of people from South America and other countries. They're not going to be able to assimilate at that rate. I, I support legal immigration. I really do. I support it in, in large. And I think America is the most generous of all the first world countries. Let me make sure I'm even like, yeah, so long. But guys, moving on. Swedish university professor may get fired for saying men and women are biologically and anatomically different. Yeah, some of his students who identify as transgender have been outraged by his lectures and argue that it violates the university core's value and equality plan to suggest that the differences between men and women are not social constructs. People can be bo born the wrong gender. Gender is a social construct. Capitalism does not work because people are selfish. People will work for the common good in a socialist society. There's Carl. Good old Carl. CNN falsely states that it is un unlawful. That it is unlawful for the public, but not for CNN to search WikiLeaks. Yeah, this this right here pretty much proved Pizzagate was real. This smug asshole's face. Donald Trump tells UN General Assembly war will follow after his decision to reimpose sanctions on Iran, who he accuses of slaughter in Syria and Yemen. BBC clarification. Real Donald Trump's actual words appear to be more will follow. Hashtag honest mistake. 
Hashtag honest mistake. Come on. Skin color doesn't matter. Yeah. So let us put a bunch of black elves in the Lord of the Rings. Some things are too white. Like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just give me the character. I'm so sick of it. You wouldn't make a fucking white guy Black Panther. And so why would you make a bunch of elves black? It just doesn't make sense. It's just not... It's not the point. They're going to do a new Amazon series in Lord of the Rings. And I... I hope they don't fuck it up. But I know they're gonna. I know they absolutely will. Replacement theory. A, a racist, sexist doctrine spreads in far-right circles. We can replace them. In Georgia, a chance to rebuke white nationalism. When white, when white people are the victims of Muslim attacks... As a Muslim woman who wears a hijab, I made a conscious decision to remain at home the day after the Paris attack so I could, as told by my friends, stay out of harm's way. I'm frightened. After attacks in Paris, New York Muslims cope with a backlash. When Muslims are the victim. New Zealand massacre highlights global reach of white extremism. Morrison government bans Miley office in wake of the... Donald Trump downplayed the threat from white nationalists after the deadly New Zealand attack. So basically, if Muslims are the, the perpetrator and they attack white people... Then the news reads like Muslims are afraid of backlash from white people because they're they just got attacked. But when Muslims are the victims, it's all about white extremism. If a white person moves out, white flight, racism. Moves in, gentrification, racism. Sees color, racism. Doesn't see color, ignoring racism. That's racist. Doesn't partake in culture, non inclusive. That's racist. Engages in culture, that's cultural appropriation, that's racist. This is intersectionalism, this is nonsense town. More and more young Americans are looking for unconventional and unique housing alternative. And then put on the They Live glasses. Check out the movie They Live and The Thing, two, two of my favorite movies. In order to continue expanding, capital must continually reinvent itself, presenting poverty, degradation, and pain as a marketable commodities to be consumed ever anew. You can wear a trash can as a boot. Just fucking do it because we're tired of making boots. <laughs> there we go, Temple. You have these journalists who do the same thing. They accuse everybody of being a Nazi, everybody of being a fascist, and then you see what the media says about everybody. You see how they call Jordan Peterson all day, night, alt-right. The alt-right hates him. And this narrative is used to strip people of their income to remove them from public discourse. Far-right conspiracy theorist Tim Poole is currently on Joe Rogan's podcast. Poole is shouting at Jack Dorsey, spreading misinformation about conservatives being silenced on Twitter. Rogan is massively complicit in giving a platform to these free speech hucksters. Yeah, I haven't gotten <clears throat> some bullshit attacked on my small ass YouTube channel. I can see this happening. Gender is determined by your chromosomes. Yeah, but money makes it different, doesn't it? Also, in relation to that last, that last video or last meme... There's some dude on Twitter who's going around like doxing my IP and telling people that I'm a, like a, a prolific disinfo agent. Like I'm like a CIA shill or some shit like that. He's even linking my SoundCloud, which I appreciate. Thank you. But <laughs> but the point is, is that like they're trying to anyone that they disagree with. There really seems to be sort of like a club of free thinkers that aren't they don't realize they're a part of this club. And there are a club of non-free thinkers, a, a cult really, and they're like hunting in a way. It's so bizarre. So here we got the exact same newspaper now. All these memes, of course, take with a grain of salt. I haven't verified all of them. I've checked into a lot of them. But they have, apparently in different areas, Trump softens his tone. Trump talks tough on the wall. The same story, just a different headline for different areas, political or whatever. This is how they, they're trying to train our brains. So check this out. Expanding consolidation of the of the consumer internet. 2007, seven years ago, about 50% of internet traffic came from several thousand websites. 2009, the consumer internet represented 20% of all North American traffic, and by this point, 50% of the traffic was coming from just 150 sites. 2014. Today, the consumer internet takes up little over half of traffic in North America, which comes from just 35 different websites. These are the hypergiants. Among the 35, according to data from Nielsen, the top five are pretty unsurprising. So here you go. This is why it's happening. This is the media's tactic. 
They like to say this and say this and be like, boom, you can't catch our bullshit. Why? Because you're too busy asleep or not working out or exercising or focusing your brain or meditate or go outside of nature or growing shit or calling your mom and dad and talking to your friends or going to church or giving a fuck about your spirituality or caring about where you came from or looking into your history and traditions or trying to preserve yourself and your history and traditions. And they know that because they just keep throwing titties in your face. Look at the look at look at tall man dunk bait ball. Look look at look at look at chick with booty in the face and the in the booty. Listen to melody, beat, go drum gum. <laughs> That's what's happening. So like um call your mom, be a good person. Uh yeah, it, it, check out the other YouTube channel that I have in case this gets censored too. And also, uh, check out the Patreon, because if, if these two YouTube channels get censored, I'll still be posting content to the Patreon. So, I don't know, man. It seems like it's a clowny world out there. Are we headed for, for a shift towards the better, or a shift towards the worse? You tell me. What are your thoughts? I think for the better, because this shit is so obvious, but it could be the worse. So that's it. Wrap up. Call your mom. Actually, I got to call my friend because he got in the middle of that shit. We're supposed to go running today. All right, peace.